In this video, we're going to try to find the derivative of y equals x cubed using the definition of the derivative. Now this is the definition of the derivative. dy dx equals the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. In our case, f of x is x cubed. So just another way of denoting our function. So the big first step is to get this thing set up correctly so you n must understand function notation. f of x plus h is our function with x plus h input. So x plus h, the quantity cubed, f of x is just x cubed all over h. Now let's go ahead and over here let's multiply this guy out. x plus h, the quantity cubed. Now if you know Pascal's triangle or the binomial theorem you could use that as well. But for practice, let's go ahead and multiply it all out and see what we get. So there's what x plus h cubed means. So we'll start by multiplying a couple of them together. Let's leave this first one alone. And now let's foil these two. x times x is x squared. h times h is h squared. Now we've got an xh and an xh. So in between here we got a plus 2xh. Now let's distribute this x. x times x squared is x cubed. x times this middle piece gives us an x squared in there. So plus 2x squared h. And then x times this last part gives us a positive xh squared. Now we need to FOIL the h through. So plus x squared h plus 2xh squared and then finally a plus h cubed. So that's one way of doing multiplication of these kind of binomials. Now we combine like terms. We only have the one x cubed term. Now x squared h, I've got a term here. I've also got one here. So adding those together give me plus 3x squared h. Now I'm going to have two xh squared terms. So plus 3xh squared. Because one of them here and two of them there gives us 3 and then finally plus h cubed. So there's our simplification or our, we should say our multiplying out over on that side. So we have the limit as h goes to 0 of x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed and then finally don't forget the minus x cubed. That's actually very important all over h. Because now those x cubes cancel. And we get a very important fact which is that every term in the numerator now has an h in it. So what I'm going to do is in the numerator I'm going to factor 1h out of these three terms. So that gives me h times 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared all over h and there is my cancel. I now no longer have an h in the denominator so I can now plug in my h going to 0. I can plug in 0 for h. So this h is going to become a 0 and so is this h. So what I'm going to get is 3x squared plus 3x times 0 plus 0 squared or that my derivative is simply 3x squared. So dy dx or y prime depending on the notation you used is 3x squared which is the derivative of x cubed.